Today we're going to talk about the toggle control that you can use in a model-driven app in Power Apps. I really enjoy implementing UI controls on my forms. I think the visualization and breaking up all of the text on a form is really helpful to user adoption. Now, I'm not saying that applying this one control is going to take your user adoption to 100%, but applying controls like this and applying others can help win the user adoption battle one little bit at a time. So today I'm going to walk through how to apply a toggle control in Power Apps, and I'm working on a model-driven app for my Dynamics 365 environment. So here we are at make.powerapps.com. I've already created a solution file and added my table. We have the contact table here, and now I want to add a column. So obviously I'm going to specify my name. Uh, we'll do cats or dogs. Why not? And then we're going to change your data type to a yes, no field. So for the toggle control, obviously we need this to be a yes, no field. So we'll make it cats and dogs. Default value, cats, because I have cats. <laughs> and then the description, I always love putting a tooltip in here. That's another good win for user adoption. Which does the contact prefer? And then we're going to click done. So the first step is done. We've created a new yes, no field or column and added it to our control. So I want to click save table at the bottom to make sure that everything's saved here before we move on to our next step, which is adding that field to the form. So now that that column has been added, I'm going to move over to forms. I've already added my form as an asset here in my solution file. So I'm simply going to click on this and let the form canvas load. Um, I love the form canvas interface in Power Apps. I find it really easy to work with. So I'm going to just go to the table columns view and I'm going to search for my field. I also love that I can search for the field instead of scrolling through. And we're just going to take cats and dogs um, and we're going to plop it on the field here. So step two is done. Step one, we added the new column. Step two, we added it on the form. So now it's time to move on to step three, which is applying the control to the field. So once I have highlighted this field, which I'm simply going to do by clicking on the name on the canvas, I have the panel on the right hand side that opens up with the details. I'm going to expand components and then click this add component area. Now this will show you different options depending on what your column type is. So as yes, no field or co column, there is only a few options here. It's toggle and canvas app. But if you try this with others, you'll see different options. So I'm going to select toggle. And the final thing I have to do is set my scope. By default, it's going to opt in all scope. So the, the component will show on web, mobile, or tablet. Now you can differentiate that. You can define it differently. You can uncheck it if you don't want it to show on one of these. Um, but I'm going to keep it on all of them and then click done. So that, that's it. I'm going to click Save and Publish. And then I'm going to publish all of my changes in my solution file. And then we're going to hop over to the front end side and show you what this looks like for my end users. So here we are in my front end. So this is my streamlined model driven app that my inside sales team is using. This is a contact form. And here's our new field, cats or dogs. So something I want to bring up about the toggle control, which makes it really unique and superior to the older version that was out there, is it defaults to a null value. So you can see here, cats or dog is currently blank. So any ad hoc reporting, any advanced finds, anything on a dashboard that I might want to report on, I can make sure that I'm only reporting on things that have a value. So by default, it's null. So I can come in here and, and change my selection. So here's cats and there's dogs. So that's it. We've gone over the three steps to applying this great toggle control in on a form in a model driven app. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm at Heidi at reenhance.com or you can comment on the video below with any questions or thoughts that you might have. Let me know if you've implemented this in your system and what you think. Thanks.